want to go out, we want to have a bit of fun in the mountains, and we want to look at what is grade one scrambling. I often describe it as that, uh, the sort of ground where you'd head out and if your mum saw you, she'd tell you off and, uh, and, and tell you to come down from there. So uh, it's hill walking, but it's hill walking where we're going to need our hands out of our pockets, we're going to get our hands on the rock, and there's the potential to, to fall off some stuff. So what we want to look at this morning is where are these scrambles? How do we find them? How do we find our way on them? Okay, so let's have a look at what the guidebook can tell us. Um, North Ridge of Triven, a total classic. If you're only going to do one scramble in North Wales, this is probably the one the guidebook tells us. So it'll tell us where to park, just down in the lay-by at the bottom here. It'll give us a, a broad description. So it says the lower part of the ridge is quite broad and offers a number of possible route choices. So you've got, uh, you can make your own decisions as to where you want to go then, have a part of your adventure. From a vantage point on the heathery shoulder, choose a weakness up through a barrier of rock. And then it basically says, by sticking close to the crest of the ridge, you're going to find the best scrambling. All paths lead to Rome. So it's giving you that freedom to go out, pick a line, have an adventure. Try not to think of things as being right or wrong. Try and think of things as being fun. And if you get into something and you think, oh, hang on, that looks a little bit steep for me. Perhaps you can just come back down, have a nose around the corner and see if you can find something that looks a little bit more up your street. So get into this way of thinking that you're there just to have an adventure. If it works for you, you're going the right way. Um, it also then talks about uh, descents or where next. So it'll give you some ideas as to other scrambles that you could link in with this one to give yourself a bigger day out or an easier descent route if that was what you were looking for. Okay, so part of our challenge on our scramble is to, is to find the route, to find where we're going to go. And it comes back to what I was saying earlier, there isn't necessarily a right way or a wrong way. It's got to be the way that's right for what you want to get out of your day. So here's a case in point. We've got a little um, path heading off to the side there, where people have obviously headed up there before. We've got another route heading up here. Um, and we've got another route heading off to the side. So which is the right way? Well, the route heading up ahead of me now is the one that's probably the most obvious. And we can see polish on the ground. We can see the makings of a footpath. Often you'll see crampon scratches as well. And that will generally mean either you're going around the corner and there'll be sort of 3,000 people sat there who have all got lost, or that's the way everybody went and found their way through. So these are telltale signs of the route. But Probably the easiest way is just to have a look. Have a look around the corner. Does that look like the sort of ground that I want to be on, on a grade one scramble? Um, which is the easier line? Because we're, we're out scrambling all day. We don't need to make life hard for ourselves every time. Which is the easier line? Where are other people going? But just be aware, they, they might well be out for a rock climbing day. You don't necessarily want to follow people blindly, but it can be an indication as to where other routes are on the mountain. So have a nose about. Try not to get sucked into this way of thinking, am I going the right way, am I going the wrong way? Have that sense of adventure, that ability to have a nose, have an explore and find a way that's right for you.